good morning, you amazing person. I'm talking to you. We're going into work. We have to go pick up a trailer that uh, that's sitting in Harbor. It's just sitting there waiting for us. So we're going to bobtail all the way up there, load it, and bring it back. So far, that's the only thing on the agenda today. We'll see uh, what happens as the day progresses. Uh, we're just getting to work here. We're going to go and uh, start up old Betsy. Get her motor running. Make sure that she's uh, good to go for the day. And there's not really much I have to get ready because all I got to do is start heading up there. <sighs> got to remember to leave the pickup shades in the pickup. Otherwise, I bring the pickup shades into the semi-truck and then I have two pairs of shades in the semi-truck. And then I got no shades in the pickup truck. And then I leave the semi truck and I come back in the pickup truck and I got no shades and my eyes hurt. Big life problems. Always have a pair of shades in every vehicle and leave them in their respective vehicles. Lessons I've learned. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Oh, that sunshine is nice. I could have ridden the bike in today, but uh, I was in a little bit of a rush this morning. Didn't have time to get it ready. I have to get it ready the night before. Otherwise, if I'm in a rush in the morning, then I just don't have the time. Which is not an excuse. I'm not using that as an excuse. Shame on me for not riding my motorcycle into work today. Shame on me. I know. I'm as ashamed as you are. If not more. I don't have a good excuse. One second. Yeah, I woke up a little later than I expected to, or than I wanted to today. I was a little bit tired. I was up a little later last night, so I took the opportunity to grab an extra few minutes of sleep. And then when I got up, I hadn't gotten the bike ready last night, and the pickup was sitting there all ready to go. So I just jumped in the truck, and here we are. Ah. All right, that's... her oil is doing good. Okay, getting all settled in here. All right, let's get the old girl started up here. The, the back, the very back of the trailer, the 
I guess the curtain in the back, I sort of like the other one system for that. Uh, I can show you this all in the future, but now we're just cruising down Highway 7. I'm coming up to Toulon soon. That's halfway back already, and it's a two hour drive each way. So four hours for one trailer, four hours for the next. Turns out to be eight hours of driving today, plus uh, hooking up and dropping it there. So full day. It's getting pretty windy out here though. I think I'm actually kind of glad I didn't take the bike into work today. A strong wind coming out of the southwest. And it looks like clear skies that way, so we should have good weather tomorrow, as long as the winds die down. Oh, we made it back with the first one. Like I said, they're not new. But it is another roll tight at least. The other one's exactly identical to this. And this is what I was talking about. See, it splits here in the middle and it's sealed up here. And then the front step rolls that way and the back all rolls that way. So you, so you don't have to pull the whole step all the way to the back like uh, that one over there. You see, that one had to split right here, right? This one opens from the front or from the back. But the front, you gotta roll it onto a certain tracks right here to make sure that the front doesn't fall off, right? Roll it onto tracks and then you roll the whole thing all the way to the back or to the front. And that's the difference. I kinda like them both for different reasons and I don't like them both for different reasons. It works and that's what's important. They both work. We got one more here now and uh, we can go get another one. It's another two hour drive back north. Go grab the other one and a two hour drive back yet. This has actually got a nice little step here too. This seems a little higher as well so you don't bump your head on this as easy. It's got room at the front for hanging chains, a little bit of room for straps and stuff. Pretty much the same idea, right? Here you can see uh, how this works. So that strap goes into a winch down there, and as you tighten that winch, it pulls this down. That hook pulls that in there. That hook pulls that there. So the back part and front part are sucked together with this cable on the winch. And it's sealed all the way around. For that reason, I like this a lot better. It needs a good wash. Should be good to go. Ugh. I just had a wave of tiredness just flow over me this afternoon. I'm gonna go home and get a, an early night. I don't even know if Brit's at work still or not. Time 6.30 right now, just after 6.30, I just left. And uh, should be home by now. And she, she works different hours all the time, so her schedule's kind of more all over the place. I always, I always forget, I can't memorize her schedule. <laughs> Maybe I should spend some time just memorizing it once. I'm always asking her, what are you working till? Are you working today and you work tomorrow? That's probably annoying for her. But whatever, whether she's home or not, I'm gonna go home. Here's my plan. Here's my plan there. Right, let me know. Well, let me know what you think. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna eat something. And I'm gonna dive into bed. Get under the covers and just fall asleep. Hopefully get a, a good long sleep in tonight. Tomorrow I've gotta go, uh, uh, I've gotta take a rental trailer. Uh, 009, I think. Not that it matters to you guys, but I just want to have that on the record in case I forget, because I forgot to write it down. Trailer 009, I got to take it tomorrow and uh, go up to Toulon. Grab something there. I like it when I can have my plan sort of set out for me the day before. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to sort of plan out my morning as well. And I always like to know what I'm doing. That way I get to work and I can get straight to being productive. Get get doing, get to what I'm supposed to be doing. Because if I don't know what I'm doing, I get to work. Uh, I end up, you know, 
warming up the truck, cleaning it out a little bit, and then just sort of sitting, sitting and waiting. I hate sitting and waiting because I feel so unproductive, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. Sort of take that opportunity, I guess, to chit chat a little bit with the co workers. Usually doesn't happen like that, though. Usually I know what I'm doing and I'm off to the races as soon as I get there. I don't know, I'm too tired to think about tomorrow. I'm just glad today's done so that I can go to sleep. I love sleeping. That's like my favorite part of the whole day. Sleeping. I am truly, officially in my 30s. I'm getting old now. I learned on the internet yesterday. Oh, I was talking to Brett and I was reading this article online. And uh, it was an article about Gen Z or something. And all of their lingo. Gen Z has all their... No, new lingo and they're talking about millennials that's, that's me as the old people huh when, when did I get into the old people category I don't feel like I'm there yet Chevy are you guys good today get him get him it's so hot out here, they're so tired. They don't want to fight. So yeah, those uh, roll tights, obviously they weren't brand new, like I explained to you. Uh, we got them off of uh, one of our customers, actually, who was selling them. And... Uh, they're in good condition, though. Got a little rust on the rims, and they're older, but uh, they're in pretty good condition. They're 48 foot steps. And uh, we desperately need more roll tights. And they had them there and weren't using them and wanted to sell them. So now they're ours. So I'll see uh, how long it'll take before I have to pull one myself and go and load it up. But at least there's two more added to the fleet that way. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.